This is the first step in our treatment of autism spectrum disorder. We're recording the electrical activity of the brain and we're seeing what's called the EEG on the screen in front of the patient. Our brain only weighs several pounds, yet it uses up 20 to 40 percent of all the body's blood glucose is utilized by the brain to create electricity in the brain, and that's what we're recording on the EEG. Once the recordings are completed, it's then processed through a normative database. And we're monitoring and recording 19 channels on the head, and you'll see 19 rows on the computer screen. This EEG data is then, again, processed through our normative database, comparing to patients of the same age who are healthy without symptoms. It helps identify if any areas, regions, or what's called networks of the brain are dysregulated that's linked to the patient's symptoms. We then develop out a customized neurofeedback protocol based on this recording to help the brain move to healthier and healthier functioning. Once we complete the recordings of the brain waves, then we analyze it through the normative database. And the results show here that this patient's brain is stuck in a very abnormal slow pattern in the central portion of their brain. This pattern is analogous to your brain is offline. It's not processing information. We want to help the patient shift the brain and reduce that slowing into a more optimal functioning state. That's why the brain mapping is so critical. We wouldn't know where to treat or how to help this patient without knowing where the problem was. We've analyzed the patient's brain map and we've created a customized neurofeedback protocol to help this patient improve their brainwave activity that's gonna improve brain functioning. The EEG recordings are connected to a brain computer interface that converts the EEG into a video game with auditory and visual feedback so the patient is learning how to improve brain activity that will improve brain functioning. In autism spectrum disorder, it, there are abnormal functional connections in the brain that, that produce symptoms. It diminishes brain functioning. In the brain map analysis, we can look at 11,000 plus functional connections in the brain. We then see if any of those connections are not working normally that are linked to specific symptoms a child is experiencing. The patient can then learn to improve brain activity that will improve brain functioning. When the cheetah is moving across the screen on the top row towards the right, and you hear a bell go off, every second that occurs, the patient is now producing a healthier brainwave pattern. We want to get the brain out of the abnormal state it's in and start having it develop into a much healthier functional state. And that's what the feedback is telling the patient. When that cheetah is moving across the screen, whatever you're doing in your, in your mind, keep doing it, it's working, it's working. You do this over and over and over and you will significantly improve functional connections in the brain, which will reduce symptoms. This is the other type of neurofeedback we do in treating neurodevelopmental disorders, autism spectrum disorder, ADHD. The brain doesn't know what normal is. In, in the autism patient, the brain doesn't know what, what normal is. If we give the brain more information about how it's working, it can use that information to work in a much healthier, more optimal functioning pattern. So again, the electrode is recording his brain waves. It's connected to a computer brain interface that converts his brainwave activity into a computer game that he can work with. Every time the fish jumps in the river, an auditory tone goes off and he gets a point on the screen because he's producing a healthier brainwave during that moment. If the fish does not jump into the river, there's no auditory feedback, he's not being rewarded. So he's only being rewarded when his brain is working in a healthier pattern, literally increasing the size and numbers of synapses in the brain that improves also connectivity in the brain that create a much stronger, healthier brain functioning.